Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And today we're talking about BPD and abandonment. <laughs> now, I believe I've covered this topic in the past, but the video is probably crap, so I'm filming it again now when I've got a proper camera <laughs> and a new lens. I got a new lens for my camera and I love how it works and how I don't have to be right up by the camera anymore. Anyway, back on to the topic of that abandonment and BPD. So BPD has many characteristics. Abandonment, it's one of them. It's one of the parts of BPD. So say you're in a relationship and it breaks, you break it up, you feel abandoned by that person, like you've been cast away. And yes, I'm using a personal experience here. It does affect people very severely. And then when I, I got broken up with last week, it did send me spiraling and it made me suicidal, it made me want to self harm. It made me cry. It made me feel so unwanted that I didn't even want to be alive. A couple of years ago if you'd have broken up with me I probably would have made the sense of my life. This time it was just thoughts and I didn't have any intention of acting on them. So to say a lot's changed. A lot's changed. But when you have BPD, abandonment issues are um, it's such a big part of it because you don't want people to leave you. But yeah, abandonment is a very big part of BPD because you build attachments to people and when that attachment's broke, you can't help but feel abandoned. So here are a few little things you can do to help yourself when you feel like you've been abandoned. Look at photos of positive memories. I've got photos on my wall of my family and my little sister going to her prom and her first day of school. I've got pictures of my grandparents when I went on holiday with them. I've got a picture of me and my sisters. I have two younger sisters, one is 18, the other is 11 and I'm 25. So. I turn 26 next month. It's crazy. Another thing that comes to mind when you've been abandoned is the urge to get their attention again by messaging constantly, phoning constantly, emailing, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or is it X now? I still call it Twitter. But my main bit of advice is if you have BPD and you feel abandoned, look for positive memories. For me, that's my positive wall. Another thing I think is important to say is it's okay to feel abandoned when you're broken up with, when someone leaves your life. It's okay to feel abandoned. Was that your that relationship was important to you, and not having that is hard. And yes, you're likely to feel abandoned because someone you care about has just left your life. That doesn't mean you can't have positive memories with that person. I hope this video made some sense. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.